Hello friends, today we will discuss design of a diamond crossing and as I told you in my earlier sessions, the diamond crossing is made when two tracks cross each other at some angle. These two tracks may be of the same gauge, broad gauge line crossing a broad gauge line or maybe of different gauges when a broad gauge line is crossed by a narrow gauge line or meter gauge line. Let us take first when two tracks of the same gauge cross each other. Now this is the diamond which is formed here. Let us say A, B, C, D and this is the angle of crossing alpha. So design basically means determination of all dimensions of this A, B, C, D. How to set, how to lay this crossing here in the field. That is the meaning of design. So, you join AC and BD. These are two diagonals. And let us say this point is here E and this point is F. AE and CF. This is equal to the gauge can be meter gauge, can be broad gauge. And similarly, if you drop a perpendicular this side, you can put some na name here, let us say P, this will also be the gauge. This angle is alpha and let us say this angle here is also alpha, this angle will also be alpha and this will also be alpha. So if you consider this triangle A, B, E, in triangle ABE, you can find out what is AB. This angle is alpha. If you take sin alpha, that is AE upon AB is sin alpha. Or you can say that AB is AE is a gauge G cosec alpha. This is the side AB. And similarly, in this triangle, you can find out what is BC. BC will also be equal to G cosec alpha. Because here now, PC is gauge G, angle alpha, this is the hypotenuse. So, sin alpha again will be equal to PC upon BC. And AD is equal to BC. AB is equal to CD and therefore all the four sides are equal. That makes a rhombus here. So ABCD is a rhombus and the property of rhombus is that its diagonals bisect at 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree now. This is 90 degree and these two diagonals bisect each other at this point let us say O. Now this distance BE, horizontal distance BE equal to FD, this distance, they will be the same and this distance you can find out from this triangle AEB, this triangle, tan alpha, tan alpha is AE upon BE or you can say that BE is AE is the gauge G into cot alpha. Cot alpha is number of crossing. You can say G into L. If you know the angle of crossing, you can find out cot alpha. If you know number of crossing, you can simply put G into N. And same will be DF. FD. DF. Now this diagonal AC AC you can find by two methods either you simply take is AC equal to twice of AO twice of AO now this angle here is alpha by 2 because these are the diagonals of rhombus so in this triangle AOD or AOB this AO is 
ए बी कॉस अल्फा बाई टू ए बी कॉस अल्फा बाई टू नाउ ए बी ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी सी दैट इज जी कॉस एक अल्फा अल्फा सो यू कैन पुट हेयर दैट ए ओ इज इक्वल टू ए बी इज जी कॉस एक अल्फा यू कैन राइट वन अपॉन साइन अल्फा इन टू कॉस एक अल्फा बाई टू दिस यू कैन पुट टू आइस ऑफ साइन अल्फा बाई टू कॉस अल्फा बाई टू दैट इज जी अपॉन टू साइन अल्फा बाई टू कॉस अल्फा बाई टू इन टू कॉस अल्फा बाई टू एंड दैट विल बी हाफ ऑफ जी इन टू कॉसेक अल्फा बाई टू डायगनल ए सी इज टू आइस ऑफ ए ओ एंड देर फोर इट विल बी जी कॉसेक अल्फा बाई टू सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू जी इन टू कॉसेक अल्फा बाई टू and similarly you can find out this diagonal bd bd will be equal to g sec alpha by 2 so you know two diagonals you know the side of the rhombus you know these offsets also you can lay this crossing at side that is how a diamond crossing is designed now let me just take one example when two tracks of the same gauge cross each other and second example when two tracks of different gauges cross each other example 1 two bg tracks cross each other at 10 degree determine the important dimensions of diamond two bg tracks so gauges are same now this is again a b c and d this angle is now 10 degree and these are two diagonals in case of a rhombus this is 90 degree and again we will say this is let us say e and this is f this is gauge 1.676 meter alpha is 10 degree so ab ab is equal to bc is equal to cd and this is equal to ad all sides are equal and this is equal to g cosec alpha g is 1.676 into cosec 10 degree and that is 9. 652 meter ac now ac you can find from this triangle also that is much simpler this is now alpha by 2 and a ac is you can you can take acf so sine of alpha by 2 is g upon ac or you can say ac is g cosec alpha by 2 same equation so ac is 1.676 into cosec 5 and that is 19.229 meter bd bd is g sec alpha by 2 so this is 1.676 into sec 5 degree and that is 1.682 meter eb eb is equal to fd and this is g cot alpha g is 1.76 into cot 10 degree and that is equal to 9.505 meter now you know all dimensions you know this angle you know ab bc cd da ef fb and two diagonals you can set this crossing in the field
that is how a diamond is designed second example is when a broad gauge line intersects a meter gauge line this is 1.616 but this is let us say meter gauge 1.0 meter you can put it some points here let us say p p so this gauge is 1.676 that is broad gauge and this is meter gauge 1 meter this angle is 10 degree now this is 10 degree find out what is ab ab is same that is as you did in the first case g1 that is g1 into cosec alpha 1.676 into cosec 10 degree this will be the same 9.652 meter that is a b a b is equal to c d but b c now will be g2 into cosec alpha it will not be same because gauge is different so it will be 1 into cosec 10 degree and that is 5.758 meter this is 9.5 this is 9.652 this is 5.758 so it is not a rhombus now it is a parallelogram so a b c d is a parallelogram now and therefore these diagonals will not bisect at 90 degree this angle will not be 90 degree and they are not bisection may not be bisection and this is not alpha by 2 also but you can certainly find what is d e here now this is angle alpha this is gauge you know c d you know c d c d is equal to a b so this is 9.652 this is 1.67 this is 10 degree you can find out what is this d f d f is 9.505 meter b e will be the same as d f 9.50 that is g into cot alpha now you know a d a d is 9.652 this is 9.505 this is 1.676 use this triangle hypo pythagoras theorem and you can find out ac square is g square that is g1 square rather plus ad plus df square and that way you can find out 1.676 square plus 9.652 plus 9.505 square that is equal to AC square or AC. AC will be 15.354 meter. This is a diagonal AC. Similarly, you can find out BD. You, you, plow, you make a you know, way perpendicular here. Let us say this point is S. This is 90 degree. Okay. 90 degree. You know CD. To find out BD, you, you have to consider this triangle BDS. And therefore, you should know what is SD. SD you can find from this triangle. You take this is alpha complete 90 degree. You can find out this is BC. BC is known. Alpha is known. You can find out what is CS in this triangle. CS in this triangle will be G2 into cot alpha. This is gauge. This is second gauge, 1 meter. Okay. So BS cot alpha. Cot alpha. G2 is 1 meter into cot 10 and this is equal to 
5.671 meter and therefore this distance ds ds will be equal to cd cd is equal to ab 9.652 minus 5.671 that is equal to 3.981 meter and once you know this you can find out what is this bd again using pythagoras theorem you know this distance you know this distance 1.0 meter and you can find out what is bd so bd will be 4.105 meter now you know all dimensions you know the site you know the diagonals of the this parallelogram you can lay it in the field so that is how a diamond is designed thank you very much for watching this video you can give your suggestions in the comment box